just finished cutting a very large hole in the back of the step van. You can see it's back here on the top driver's side corner. Welcome my friends, Seven Gray here. Thank you for joining me for this episode today. Today I'm working on my air conditioning unit, solar powered. This is, I think, probably the fourth video that I've done on this. And so hopefully today I have uh, more success than in the past. But I guess that's how you learn by trial and error and uh, just keep plugging away until something works. And so this is my fourth attempt at trying to install an AC unit and to get it to work with my solar setup. And so today, cutting another hole in the step van, I've decided to go with a simple option of mounting a window mount AC unit. I'll link the episode above where I purchased that and the Amazon link down in the description below where I purchased it. This is a 5000 BTU window AC unit. Very, very efficient. Has a soft power startup. Uses about 410 watts per hour. I have 700 watts of solar up on the roof and a 450 amp hour battery bank for Trojan 6 volt batteries. And so I'm going to be trying to run this just during the peak sunlight hours of the day. That would be you know, maybe from noon until early afternoon or something like that. So should be able to support it mostly off of solar with very little draw off of the battery bank. So that is my intent. Today's install, I'm trying to mount it in the back corner of my step van on the driver's side. So let me show you where I've uh, decided to move this to and the little bit of work I've done in preparation for that. I've already started the install process. So the AC unit used to be mounted right here going out to this side vent, which I've sort of covered up temporarily. I'm going to deal with that later and put a plate back in there to cover up the vent that's behind this piece of pink uh, insulation that's there just sort of blocking most of the cold air from coming in from the outside. So my new location is going to be back in this corner here and it should mount right up in that corner. I'm 16 inches wide and 12 inches tall which is just about in that space. Only things I need to really account for that I can think of is making sure it fits in here within this hinge space where you see these two bolts here. So on the exterior, there's a hinge that goes right here. So I've got to make sure I clear that. And also this top corner, there is a little piece of metal here at an angle that goes right along this edge. You can see it here. So I need to make sure that I clear that unless I want to cut into this brace, which I don't really want to do. So my plan is to put it from about right here where my finger is, over that way, 16 inches, and down a foot. So it's going to go just about to the even of this countertop here. So hopefully the cold air will project right along the top of this clear area and back into the front of the step van. So that's my plan for the day, cutting a hole here and I have these brackets that I've purchased for mounting as the AC unit will hang out the back side and I'm hoping that this will be enough support. It's going to be right next to a cross brace up there, very short span of aluminum that I'm going to be cutting through. So I believe that it'll be supported well enough all the way around. Just finished cutting a very large hole in the back of the step van. You can see it's back here on the top driver's side corner. Uh, this kind of stuff just sort of scares me. I mean, I guess it's up there. It's in there now. I can always patch it if I have to, but you know, that's that's where the hole's at. I just hope that it's the right size. I got to do a trial fit, make sure the AC unit will fit in there, put in the brackets, figure out exactly how I'm going to get it mounted. Up here you can see the other vent. I'm going to have to remove that at some point and put a patch over it. But right now I'm just trying to focus on getting the AC in and getting it working and then eventually I'll patch that other hole. Well, Houston, we might have a slight problem and that is uh, rolling in here in the last five or 10 minutes. I'm hearing thunder in the distance and this big uh, black thunderhead is starting to roll in here. I think I'm gonna get rain probably in the next 45 minutes. I probably have about two hours of work left to do and it looks like the hole's the right size but I've gotta get all the mounting brackets and everything ready and some holes drilled to get everything ready for my bolts to hold everything together. So I may have to table this until tomorrow and try to do it in the morning and just uh, cover the hole with a tarp or something like that. 
Well, that was close timing. It's starting to rain right now. I got the tarp set up with a couple of clamps about two minutes ago and just barely got my tools inside. So close call on that. I'm going to have to uh, put this episode on hold until tomorrow, the next day, and continue on. It's the next day and I'm working again on the AC unit. This is the last day that I'll be camped here before moving down to Denver out of the mountains. I've been working a little bit on trying to get the AC unit installed. This was quite difficult to get this into the hole. Let me explain why. You'll notice from this angle here that the top of this shelving unit is higher than the bottom here of where the AC goes in. So I had to get this in here at an angle slanted down and dropping in through the hole before it would go into the place. It's a very, very tight fit. Even though you can see some gaps in the light here, it was uh, rubbing all the way around as it went in. And then down at the bottom, there's a little slot here. So once the AC unit was in, it dropped down about another, oh, I'd say half inch to three quarters of an inch here, which created a gap at the top. So now I need to deal with this on the outside. Here you can see what it looks like on the outside. It's actually not too bad. It's a fairly small unit and doesn't really hang out that far out of the back of the step van. So it's uh, much less noticeable than I originally thought and sort of blends in with the rest of the step van. So I like the way this is looking. As you can see, I'm making some progress today. The weather is still holding out. It's supposed to get rain this afternoon, so I'm trying to finish up got the two brackets that are supporting the bottom here you can see I'm going to do a close-up here in a second so you can see those closer so I've got those bolted into the back wall of the step van and then I'm using a sheet metal screw to go into the bottom of the AC unit I'm crossing my fingers that I haven't hit anything critical but I think that's all open space back there and here's what it looks like I've got these brackets in here they seem really secure and I've got them going in the bottom Still need to like seal with a water seal along the edges here. But I think that that's something that I'm probably going to do here over the next couple of days as I can get back to Home Depot or Lowe's. But anyway, this is looking pretty good right now. I think the last thing I want to do today is put a support on the upper lip so that I can bolt that into the back wall of the step van as well. I think I need to use some angle aluminum just to support that along the edge, the top edge there, so that I can bolt that in so that it doesn't move around on the top end. Although I think probably with those two brackets right now, it's probably plenty solid as it is. It's not moving at all if I try to wiggle it. I'm putting the finishing touches on the AC. The very last thing that I want to do, other than just insulating around the edges of it and um, aesthetically making it more pleasing. Last thing I want to do is secure this on the top. So what happened was that when I cut the hole it was exactly the right size for the AC but because of the slot on the bottom the AC dropped down about three quarters of an inch which left which left a gap at the top of three quarters of an inch. Let me show you. It's a bit hard to see but there's a gap right here on the top and this little lip here connects to the AC unit on the top and it's intended to screw into uh, the side of the window frame or something like that. So basically there was a gap here so I couldn't screw into the gap where I wanted to for these four bolts. So what I had to do is add a piece of angle on the outside so that I could put these screws through this and into the angle. You can see the angle here and basically I just screwed it into the back of the step van on each side and that allowed me to screw the lip on the front of the AC into that and have extra support going across the top there. So it feels really secure at this point. I think I'm okay to drive. So that's my AC unit install. I powered it up. I tested it. Everything's working great. I think I've got a win-win situation here. The last thing I need to do is just add some insulation around the edge and seal it off. And then I need to search online and look for some sort of a cover to cover this in the winter months when I'm not using it just so that the airflow doesn't come inside. I'm guessing something like that's standard even though I've never seen it before. If you know of something like that, please write a comment below so that I can take a look at it. Go ahead and provide a link if you can. Uh, that way I can get some sort of cover for the winter months. So that's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Savor the moment and I'll see you in a future video.